so happy. Smiley face. You're on a plan called T O U A. Are you aware of what that is? Uh, no. Okay, it stands for time of use, and plan A means Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. are your peak times or most expensive rates. Everything else, including the entire weekend, is off peak or lower. So what that means for you is that if you're able to actually not have to uh, use po more power than what you're consuming during peak, you're going to get the higher credits on your account. And if you see that second column that says peak usage, kilowatt hours, every line on this table is showing you a monthly period. So you can see the end monthly period date on the first column. Second column, every month except for the two shortest months of the year, which were December and January, you've mm -hmm. oversupplied during peak. That's outstanding. That's exactly what you want to do, Roy. You guys are uh, uh, just a model household here for how you want to do this, that meter is now spinning backwards at the higher peak rates and giving you that high credit. And then if you're able to consume your power more on the off peak times, which is anything up until 3 p.m. or after 8 p.m. Monday through Friday or the entire weekend, then you're only using that higher peak rate credit at the lower off peak rate, thereby okay. leaving more credits on your account. So you can see every month how you performed you've done pretty well. You've actually given credits back almost every month of the year. Now, when it gets to June and you started turning on the air conditioner, the very bottom line, yeah. you can see then you're back in the positive, but that's okay because you have 932 kilowatt hours of credit that you've banked up throughout the course of the year. So you should be able to use your air conditioner fairly comfortably over the last few months here. Um, and and not get into a big balance with PG&E. And that's why you've been so disciplined that, that you're able to do that. So uh, congratulations to you on that. That's outstanding. Thank you. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Okay. On the left there, it is showing you how uh, your delivery charges have broken down month by month. And so that's where they came up with that $80, $89.71. Okay. So... On the bottom right, it sums up what we just saw on the first page. But if you look a little bit above that, it actually tells you right now that you may be eligible for net surplus compensation or NSC. Do you see that second last paragraph? Yes. So it shows you at your true up, if your total net usage is negative, your true up would be negative $23.62. So the reason that it's only $23.62 and not the $126 is because pg e is not going to reimburse you at their retail rate. The retail rate, you get the retail credits within the 12-month period, which is currently showing you $126. Mm -hmm. But if you oversupply, they're paying you at the wholesale rate, which right now is about two and a half cents per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And that's why you would only get $23.62 back. So for you, Roy, the ideal situation is not only do you want to use up that $126 over the next couple months here of pg e bills, but you don't want to actually get on top of that and run a little bit of a balance. Okay. Because if you can use a little balance, pg e will credit you back those delivery charges towards your annual true up bill. So right now, you really are roughly at about a $240 amount that you have to use on top of your solar production and you're getting peak production this time of year yeah. so what that means is feel free to use your air conditioner over the next couple months make yourself happy